Hello guys, in this video you're going to see one of the world's first uses of double juggernaut in a deck. If a deck is running really smoothly and this deck was, squeeze the juggernaut in there because, you know, Sneckawa is a crazy ass relic. Sometimes it's nice to just watch an easy breezy run, so enjoy. Okay, thank you. Um, what's the challenge? The challenge says, thinking of adding something like you can only take every second fight card and reward is not allowed to move any cards. That's super hard in session 20, Sahut. Right? It's super hard. There's different ways we can challenge me in Ascension 20, but Ascension 20, that right there is a suicide. We actually have a list of challenges. Let me show you what I got. I think that's too hard. Uh, we should have a spreadsheet of all the challenges we created. Boom. There it is. I, I, I still got the commands. Check out that duck. I'm going to do a normal run right now. D4 relics. Basically, you roll a D4 every time you pick up a relic. But then at the end of the act, you add those same amount of curses. Right? So if I pick up three and then I D4 to see what curse I get. I think I, I edited the challenge. It's on YouTube. You can see the, the hard version of it. I edited it. So instead of doing it at the end of the act, we get the curses immediately. And even through that, I had a crazy run with like four tinctures, and it was an incredible run. The four tinctures saved me the run because I was I was on the brink of dying to the book of stabbing with like twenty curses in my deck. I'm exaggerating, but you get the point. Four tinctures, boom. The thing is, because relics are so powerful that getting four of a relic or three of a relic is mind blowing. Getting three or four of a relic is so drastically powerful that you have to balance it out with curses immediately. Take every three. Uh, are you kind of, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, Snake White makes that really doable. Exactly. If you get Snake White, that's really cool. We could try one of these. I want to do a normal run right now. We'll do a challenge run next uh, on Silent. We'll do that. For every relic you add, you add two curses. You're only allowed to remove curses by sacrificing a rear card or better. That's fine because if I'm going to do curse run, I'm probably not going to get rid of curses because it, it doesn't make any sense to remove curses if you're getting so many, right? Unless they're like extremely bad curses. We could add, you could add it to the dock. It's public. You could add it to the dock. All right, let's take a rare card, right? Rare cards are usually pretty good. Unless we get a snipe. Is there a snipe? No. Rare card. All right, guys. I'm going to close my eyes. You guys tell me one, two, or three. Is that a hard one or not? For every relic, you add two curses. It's short. Yeah, it's hard. To get two curses to every relic is hard. Yes. That's, that is hard. Close my eyes, and it's going to be... Damn. Offering. Now, offering early game is a little bit painful. But nothing I can't work with. Alright, I'll try, I'll try that on... Um, I'll try that on... What's it called? I, I, right now, I'm going to do number one, but I'll do another run after this. We'll do your challenge run. Because I think Ironclad can handle that, no problem. Okay, I say no problem. I think I can handle that run with the curses on the Ironclad. I would have to restart my game because I have to add the mod console. Let's do it. There's no shop here, right? Good, you're good. All right, so we're going for three elites, four elites. Even, so if we get some good cards, if we get some good cards, we can go four elites. Which is incredible, of course. So every soul is like a winner, a good example of, of being able to handle the um, the curse stuff that you're talking about, right? I mean, I can even do it now if you wanted me to. Do I have mod console on? I don't. So the way I have to add a curse is with the console. Um, but yeah, Silver Soul is a good example of being able to manage curses. But I'm, I'm going to say Silver Soul. It may be, Silver might be better. But Silver Soul, it's got a special place in my heart. Let's use max HP. We can even take a curse immediately. Which funny, because that right there technically is a relic. So if we were doing like a challenge run, that's two curses right there. You can start seeing how that stuff adds up. Let's 
second wins. Damn. This is this was a curse run. <laughs> second with Sever Soul. Curses, who cares? I got second win in Sever Soul. I think Armin's is better because of the Guardian. Armin's offerings, we do Armin's plus offering up in the whole hands. But second win is incredible, of course. Don't get me wrong. I'm also a little bit worried just because I have to fight elites and I don't got jack shit for cards. I don't got jack shit for cards. Well, and I don't have jack shit for defense either. I got a perfected strike. You guys, I'm biting elites. Perfected strike says damage. Sure. I already hate this run. I hate the strong word. I don't mean that. I do not mean that. I don't mean that. But. Everyone is kicking my ass. Damn, son. If I reapply Bash, it's pretty good because I have Offering Sever Soul stuff going on next turn. If I pay Perfected Strike, I do more damage. Let's do this. Oh, I thought I was going to have the Offering thing going on. I lied. Well, I still do have Offering coming up. Never mind. It was worth it. The Bash is more, more damage for sure. I'm blocked because I think I have enough damage with the Offering on this turn. Personally, is Armin's plus better on the? Okay, what's better? So we should, let's take a look. It's gonna make it get me an extra three damage. There's three damage. So one, one, two, three, four. How much do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. An extra six damage on this. What makes it better on the redraw. Makes it better on the redraw. So if I Armin's this, it makes it better on the redraw. No. Now he's got to block next turn. Oh, he should have done the math if I had lethal or not. Fuck. Wait, three extra damage is... Oh my god. Look at the math. Three extra damage and I have lethal. Wow, this is why math is so important, guys. If I did the math, I realized I had guaranteed lethal next turn. Lizard tail. Twin strike is a strike for perfected strike, right? With drop kick, we can go infinite. With sever soul. Ah, the infinite's not that guaranteed. Also, you could do metallicized. If you now go with the power challenge, you can finish your next challenge. That's 20. What's power challenge? Every power I see. Oh, power hungry. Okay. It's as if it is faster. What do you mean? Last turn infinite was so fast. Are you kidding me? The defect went infinite turn one, turn two, and did GG. This replica's not that good because I don't actually have the ability to get rid of multiple strikes. And Metallicis is good for the Guardian to have some element of block, but Twin Strike is a strike. With Twin Strike, with Perfect Strike. Uh, okay. Alright, let's do this. Sheesh. Ouchies. Might be Lizard Tail. You might be witnessing the, the birth of a lizard tail regrowing. Huh? Preserve the lizard tail. Red skull. Oh my. And remember? Do y'all remember the sword boomerang twin strike I just passed? Well, twin strike I passed, and now red skull is a lot in line, so now I kind of want that twin strike back. So Boomerang, RIP. I have a separate soul instead. But we have Barricade. Now, this Barricade makes no sense. If we're going Power Hungry, we take it. But also, just talk about it in general. Future Prospects, Barricade's crazy. Current Prospects, it's also crazy. There's two types of crazy. Crazy good and crazy bad. And Barricade checks both boxes. It's crazy good later and crazy bad now. But, of course I want it. 
He's crazy. It's a curse. It's a curse. It's just yes. Oh, hoo -hoo, frozen egg. Frozen egg. I can see the pain in the eye. Temperature, temperature. Please be nice to me, sir. All right, so far so good. We're preserving lizard tail. Power pot preserved. A lot of dazes. Now it's a 1v1. A 1v1 in which he's at seven life. Boom, easy elite. Hornkly, oh my God, Hornkly and we got a little barricade in the mix. And a Metallic says plus. Let's go crazy. Now, this is Gremlin Lab. We're scared, but at the moment, I don't care. We're going big-ass offerings. There's the Gremlin Lab. I said I was scared. I wasn't lying. Wow, this run has gotten crazy all of a sudden. I don't normally do Metallic says, but now I have two of them. So we have block for the Guardian. The Guardian's done and solved. So this is the only challenge for the rest of the run, for the rest of this act. We beat the Gremlin Lab. We beat the, the Act 1 because Guardian is solved. The barricade Metallic says stuff. Of course, I can still die in turn two, but the horn cleave really prevents that. Let's have a power pot if we want to use it. And then going into Act Two, we're gonna figure out. Okay, we have these slow blocking cards in Act Two, but Act Two is a fight, an act where you really want to do damage, right? We'll figure it out. First and foremost, how do we solve this? If we do energy pot, we can play metallicize, or we can just strike. Let's just strike, huh? Damn, son. GG. And we got Max HP. Alrighty. What the fuck? Now you can take our block and turn it into damage with a green juggernaut. I'm not saying it's good. But I'm also not saying it's bad. Oh my god. This is the weirdest run I've ever had. But you know what? I'm going to lean into it a little bit. Get a cheeky little feel no pain. Feel no pain into uh, Sever Soul Juggernaut Mayhem. It's just really green. Oh, shit, this is bad. No cleave. Take your damage or block, what do you guys think? How many turns do I have next turn? Next turn I have... Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6... 18, right? 18 plus 3 is 21. I have lethal next turn if I do this. But I probably have lethal regardless, right? I didn't have it regardless. Good call, Jeremy. Good call. Good call. And now we have uh, Anger Head Butter Flex. How much for so nice Red Skull? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Headbutt is good when I get Entrench. Now I don't have Entrench yet. So should we just take Headbutt after the Entrench? Right? Doesn't that make, doesn't that make some sense? Alright, 
Sorry, they're investigating my VODs and why they got deleted. I don't know why that happened. I've been getting fucked recently. Comcast is fucking me. Now I'm getting my VODs deleted. Uh, one second, let me fix the game. Alright, boys. We said the Guardian is solved, and I mean it. So what can we do to make upgrades? So what we could do is make Barricade easily, uh, more easily played. Now, if we get... Cyber, uh, sorry, if we get Snekawai... Barricade upgrade is bad. So in the face of Snekawai, what I'm going to do is upgrade the Perfected Strike for damage. Vitalis has didn't get played. Alright, uh, let's get the Barricade out, please. Really? But really, no Barricade now? Fuck, that's bad, because now look at Barricade next turn. It's the worst Barricade I've ever seen. Well, anyway, the fight's over though. He's vulnerable for the rest of his life. Uh, I guess we don't we don't play barricade at all. I guess we're not gonna get play barricade this run. I mean, it would have been fine earlier, but it never happened. I said this was a free fight, and then I realized, wait a minute. I actually don't have that much block. I would love Barricade here. There it is. Alright, solved. Juggernaut, ju juggernaut, 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 juggernaut. GG! Got a potion back. Oh my goodness. Immolate for the AoE and to destroy things in Act 2. Or the Reaper. It's Immolate for sure, huh? Reaper does have something, some synergy with Barricade because you can Barricade stall and then Reaper to get full life in certain fights. But Immolate is Immolate. We're taking the Immolate button. And Snekawai has arrived. And I said... It's like a wire rise would be a sad boy for upgrading barricade, so we didn't, and here it is. Now we have offering barricade juggernaut emulate snakeaway. Let's do it. Okay. I gotta go uh, get something, use the bathroom, get some water, and as well as get something to ch uh, snack on because I am kind of hungry. I'll be back in a minute and a half. Why does it make it immune? Uh, because the game doesn't want to give you too much. They want to they want to make things easier, but they don't want to make it too easy, right? For example, the cream was instead twenty five. I know it was fifty. They put it at forty. Yeah, exactly. It's all about the balance process. Like if something's too strong over data analysis over many many uh, thousands of runs, they they fix the um, the numbers. As part of why this power is so good is because they went through that rigorous balance process to make. To make the game as good as it is, right? Exactly. And I'm much more an event that you get in Act 1, whereas the other ones are rare relics. You know, it's in line. Now, I'm kind of conflicted because I want to... I want to get the sparkle out of the way, so I'm not forced to do it in Act 3, but I also want to try to maximize pathing and get shop right here. And there's also a lot, couple upgrades. So what upgrades are even good for us? We could upgrade the emulate. Sure, what else? It's pretty much it. So I don't really want all those upgrades. Let's go this path. And we're going to force the spark on that. Oh my god, look at this. Damn. Damn, look at it, look at it, look at it. This deck is going to the moon. Alright, so we can go for a speed run. If you guys want to go for a quick little speed run. I can go ahead and um, make a give me a number, and I'll beat this game in approximately what's the what's the time right now? I'll beat this game in the next thirty five minutes. Sound fair? Thirty five minutes. I'll beat the game. Actually, 
40 minutes, I'll beat the game. Actually, I take that back. This this floor is annoying. Never mind. Take it back. I take it all back. Nah, I'll be 35 minutes for you guys. Or can I buffer when I need it? Where's the bug when you need it? Chuggernaut is good in this fight. Chuggernaut is quite nice. Entrench! <laughs> Alrighty. Upgrade all strikes and defense. Got an entrench. There's a demon form plus. As well with with Sneko. Why why wouldn't I? You can also take Frozen Eye. You guys want Frozen Eye? I got a Demon from Plus. I have Sneko. I have Barricade. I have it. I mean, dude, I got everything I want. I could even buy a shotgun, but this is perfect use of gold. Look at that. Perfect use of gold. There it is. Now, I didn't need to take the Sneko Eye, but like I said, you know. I mean, I didn't need to take Demon Form. Demon Form was not necessary, but it's like everybody loves the Demon Sneko, right? Or, or am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. Let's see what I got here. Oh, I don't want to take that much damage. A little annoying that I'm taking this damage to the face. It's a little annoying. All right, we gotta be quick though, because we did say we we're gonna beat it in 40 minutes. So let's make that happen. And what a run indeed. Upgrade the emulate. That's pretty good. And now I was going to go to the right because there, I don't need as many upgrades. You guys want to rob to get a relic? Well, let's take a look. What is it that we would what, like to rob? For a shame, which is not a good one for me. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Oh, we have emulate for this fight. We have demon form as well, but demon form didn't really play that well. I can play barricade or I can play demon form. What's better? Well, Barricade is not going to get played, so I think we'll just play Demon Form and we, we call it, no? These are some horrible ass powers. What in Tarnation? What in Tarnation was that? Juggernaut, defend. Oh, we just want to draw Emily. Once draw Emily, we're happy, no? Ah, uh, this is good enough. I'm vulnerable. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fiendfire and Shockwave. Now, Shockwave is incredible, but Fiendfire with Snekawai thin out the deck, and all of a sudden we have a glorified entrenched barricade deck with Super Tiny with Fiendfire. Dude, they're both so incredible. Are you kidding me? Fuck, that's so good. Molten Egg? Yes or no? Because I could Sapphire key it. How many more attacks are we actually going to upgrade? Let's be real. Uh, add to the deck, I mean. We could add Heavy Blade pluses. We could also add Super Brain pluses. Or we can just take the key. How many attacks are we reasonably going to add? Like, I guess Heavy Blades and... 
Palma strikes, but nah. We got an emulate. Ooh, we even got a cheeky little demon form. I'm gonna drag an eye here. That barricade came late. Damn, son. This guy's mad. I can go big fiend fire here. But I'm not in red skull range. It would be a sick fiend fire otherwise. Emulate to kill the minions. Red Skull range. Bye. Do pot. Ooh, let's go. Malikov, I'm I'm emailing support right now. They deleted all my VODs. Oh, thank you so much. They restored them. Dude, they just restored them. Hallelujah. Okay, but here's the thing, guys. I think here, I think what triggered it, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what triggered it. I think is Comcast fucking me, and Comcast is making like 20 vods, and they're like, why the hell is this guy spamming our servers with 20,000 vods? Mm -hmm. So if I'm getting fucked by Comcast, let me know so I can delete those broadcasts. I think that's what happens. There's like an automated system. Is like this guy's making 20 vods per stream. What's going on? So I gotta, I gotta make sure I delete those so that, that doesn't, you know what I mean? All right, let's skip this. All right, boys, we gotta speed up. They gotta speed up because I made a limit. This run is so powerful, I don't even have to spend brain power on this run. This run is stupid powerful. No brain power required for this run. Look at it. This run's stupid powerful. Shrug it off for uppercut. Now uppercut is weakened. Uppercut's weakened. And Sneko, I think. Shrug it off is green. It's green. Now remember how we talked about the freaking uh, molten egg making uppercut be upgraded or not? But I need I need upgrade targets anyways. You know what? I have no upgrade targets. Uppercut's a perfect upgrade target. I actually have no upgrade targets otherwise. What in tarnation? Don't worry guys, I got this under control. I realize some of you guys don't think I have this under control. How do I reassure you that it's under control? By doing it quickly. By doing it quickly, oh wait, Armin's Plus? You already have one. Fire breathing? No, skip. All right, let's go to the event. Ooh, transform versus uh, get jaxed. Sorry, versus mutagenic. Who wants mutagenic? Turn one mutagenic is pretty good. Why? Uh, we draw something cards a turn. Plus, we have fiend fire turn one. Thoughts? What would you guys transform in this situation? Let's upgrade the uppercut. Remember, we need to upgrade targets, and uppercut is a great upgrade target. Love it, love it, love it. We draw to barricade here. Love that. Love that. Draw to barricade. Love that. GG, boys. Get rid of these strikes. Who the hell wants strikes? Not me. The fuck? Demon form. Uppercut. I can play the uniform or I can just do the, the, the block thing. And why is the block thing good? Well, let me, let me tell you why the block thing is good. The block thing is good because 
We have entrenched. So while Demon Farm looks cool, it might solve a situation in some fights. We draw so many cards, it doesn't matter. We just play the entrench. Or in this case, we uh, we don't play the entrench. Well, this is a weird ass turn. What do you mean? I transformed two cards last run. Ah, oh, I supposed to do uh, perfect strike first. Whoopsies, error. Green strike actually is good here because of the red skull stuff and uh, fiend fire. Unironically good. And I'm I'm just true grading all my stuff. Love that. Just true grading all this stuff. No resummon, so I can to kill with impunity here. GG. I uh, speed it up, speed it up. Don't you love entrenched decks? This is Isaac's crutch. Isaac only makes barricade decks. I don't blame him. GG. Impervious. Do y'all want to get chokered, or you want to curse key it up? Choker's not fun. I mean, I could probably work a choker, and choker just wins. Curse key's what? One curse? That's nothing. All right. Oh, perfect path too. GG. Do y'all want to go for an event? Um, let's go for a shop. I don't. I don't think I care about dead branch, do I? Ooh, this is painful. Sheesh. Very good entrench and everything, huh? Bye. Y'all want Sentinel? Sentinel gets discarded by True Grit. Gets exhausted by True Grit. Gets exhausted by Sever Soul. Yes or no? This could be energy with Sentinel, uh, with True Grit or Sever Soul. Worth it or not? Oh, you guys like Smooth Stone? I like the Smooth Stone a little bit. Is it just me or the Smooth Stone is kind of cute? Well, if you're doing mainly Entrenched stuff, is Smooth Stone even good? Let's be real. Choke for we won at most. Eh, offering, sometimes zero cost stuff. Probably right. I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. Gotta get my mind off you. Just let me play my Snacko cards. It'll be all right. How much is this? It's a lot. Are y'all scared of curses? I'm scared of that. Nice. Easy. I forgot to do Juggernaut first. Ouch, brother. Entrench is here. Carry yourself a flame barrier. Dead branch, no need. Brother, where I'm going, there's no need for nothing. Nothing but speed. This is the this is how a successful run looks like. What? I meant to click the metallicize. Duff. 
Never mind. This run got hard all of a sudden. This run got hard all of a sudden. I hate to say it. Uh, it's fine. We literally we're totally fine. Everything's easy peasy. Isaac. That's messed up, man. There's one way to add to your red score. Juju, disarm, exhum. Exhum, 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 exhum. What's next? What's next? Big impervious. Ooh, big scary man. I don't have my unfortunate. Don't have my. I can draw a few fire now. I don't have my barricade. I don't want to get rid of entrench. This turn sucks. Straight up. That turn was poopy. Very hit bottom of the deck. Gotta love that. I can exhume the impervious again though. I guess this is not bad. I guess basically the game is saying, you know what? Take advantage of this feather that you have. Here's the red skull. You're welcome. It's intangible, right? It's catching a red score, which is actually just probably just ideal, isn't it? Because it helps me kill these next couple fights, and then once I get to this, I have feather, anyways. I get to recall next campfire. And GG. Bottle Tornado. Oh, no, 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 no. Bottle Tornado, brother. Barricade win game, yeah? Wait, why did I click that? Oh, because Anchor. Why did I click that chest? When I already had the key. Gold, please. No. There's the barricade boys plus the entrench. Welcome. You want a headbutt? I have it wouldn't be bad. Damn, but these things are giving me wounds. I need to evolve. Good thing I have Immolate right now. Look at this Immolate. Look at the value of this Immolate. It's ridiculous. My lord. I didn't have to buy Demon Form this run, but I can go two ways. I can go like um, Demon Form Reaper stuff as well. Immolate round two. Look at that Immolate. I told you I've been going an hour. Here it is. You guys, we're on pace. Reaper. See what? Oh my god. I said I need Evolve because we're going to have statuses from the heart. Plus, we have Emily making burns. But then Reaper is here, and I already had Demon Form Reaper. Oh, we have Exhumed too. But it, Evolve makes Act 4 Elite easier as well. Well, fuck me. Give me a second here. Do I even need Reaper? I mean, it's good with Demon Form. Because sometimes I don't get my Entrench off the ground. 
and having Reaper is quite nice. And Evolve only works with... It works with Dunder Deca as well. Fine. RIP Reaper. Kiki. I gotta get through this. Gotta get my mind off of you. Firepot. Heavy blade. What do you want to upgrade? Wait, no, there's no upgrade here? Are you kidding me? I should have taken something worth, up worth upgrading. Metallicize, I guess. Upgrade the Metallicize. Sure. Well, that's 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 a fucking weird upgrade in floor fifty. Metallicize. GG brother. I love when runs are this free. It makes me so happy. Why well, don't I see potion chance? Because I'm not using that mod. No, it's called InfoMod that makes that happen. I'm not using InfoMod. There's also a bestiary you could use to uh, shift outright click on these things and get info on them, but I'm not using that either. There's also a calculator you could use to make calculations, but I'm also not using that either. Alright, GG. Easy fight. What's next? Are we on pace for an hour? Eh, just give or take. This boss is done. Should we look at that PowerPoint? No. PowerPoint happens at 5 o'clock. If it happens anytime earlier, I'm really mad and my whole day's ruined. Conquest has fucked me enough. So yeah, 5 o'clock. Which right now is 2.50. So we have two hours of pure sick-ass Spire. Spire, you gotta go, go tell your mom about. Damn, I've always good in this fight too. Entrench is here. Welcome, friends. To the world of Draven. Loud doggies, loud, loud doggies. Bye. Slams are positive, aren't they? Get rid of these strikes. Play League, I haven't played League, my friend. The question is, how many hours of my life have I spent on League? It's not, have I played League, it's question goes much deeper than that. How many kids did I have to uh, be a psychologist to in League? Keeping slime, because slime is positive. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I grinded to diamond and I quit. And then I played TFT, got to... Uh, Masters, I quit there too. I don't know. I, there's like an element of commitment that you have to put to go to the really top, tippity top level. 
Now, maybe there's me not being good enough, but there's also elements of commitment that... Like, I hit diamonds, and I was like, okay, I'm good. I think once you hit diamonds, that's when the game really starts, right? But I was, I was like, really addicted to that at that point, so I, I stopped because I was addicted. But errors are really fun. Yeah, we're talking about League of Legends. Errors are really fun with friends. All right, we, got, we have to beat the whole heart in nine minutes, boys. What's the upgrade? My lord, this upgrade's trash. I've done League Shrooms before in the past. We can do it. If my internet works, I'll do a League Shroom for you. Yeah, I did a cheeky little League Jungle Stream. Rest for zero here. I'll upgrade the numbers. A lot of money. Boom! <laughs> Intense better. Dark Embrace. GG. Holy brother, man. <laughs> Could even do a will if you wanted it to, but Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. You're now witnessing a GG. Sometimes you hate it when you see a uh, top players making meta out of your builds. I know, I know. So, like, so what was really cool was like, look, following the Korean builds and seeing like what kind of stuff they got up to. The Koreans were always very innovative with their builds. They had like some crazy ass shit. All right, boys. The Sean plus second wind or skip. Wait, I put Intense on five. <laughs> I'm disrespecting this power so much. I put Intense on five. Is this second wind really good because it allows me to do dark and brave stuff and then just get entrenched, hit entrenched, GG. Yeah, second wind is really good. I disrespect this power so much. Is the duplication bot on entrenched now? Or on anything else? I didn't play my evolve though, that's bad. I went top top of Fiddlefix and I had no idea how to play crit sound nice and I only ever ate it and they didn't understand anything and they went bonkers. <laughs> crit fiddle. That's crazy talk. I could just also just exhaust all this because stuff sucks. I don't want the redraw, but here's the redraw. Uh GG boys, GG. I told you this is sometimes the run is just really really easy. And uh, yeah, this is one of those runs. We're just within, oh, look at that.
flame barrier for damage. Entrenches here. Why not disarm? Because when you go negative disarm, a lesson, learning lesson, learning lesson. When you go negative disarm, guys, the heart clears it. I'll be here all day. Don't worry, I'll be here all day. The more you know with Jeremiah. What's up, Satan Worship? GG, guys. And just like that, an hour run. Sub-hour run. I even had a little break in between. That was like a 50-minute run, to be honest. I was 50 minutes. Easy, easy, easy.